We are inside of the very spacious Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Today we've got a fun little clash in the AFC as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Sanchez ready to go and we are underway from Lucas Oil Stadium. Fair catch going to be taken and this will be moved out to the 25. going to put it up right away. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. the middle. Here's Taylor. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Again, it's Taylor. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he takes this one in for a close touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Colts take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7 0 ending. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Valdez Scantling in motion left. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. Hello. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. looks to throw on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, 
two in completion. They're going for more. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Gets it out quickly here to the left flank. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. 15. On first down, Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook tough to defend because you think it's a go route and then he breaks it back on the comeback there's one other thing you need as well a well thrown ball exactly right you have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route Yellow. now from Colts territory here's a first and ten at the 30 yard line Valdez Scantling in motion left. Now it's Mahomes again. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez Scantling. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Zaire Franklin. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down the 16-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he is met in his track behind the line of scrimmage. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now Minshew. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And when the time has expired on the first quarter. Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try. This one from 35 yards away. Gay's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
And job one here, Charles. Just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor. But thank you, Doctor Davis. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Travis Kelsey. Down the right sideline. And he gets it all the way down to the three. Mahomes finding his tight end, Kelsey, for a big one. 72 yards. Oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. Pacheco is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Andy oh. Reid never wanted to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. Mahomes will throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Now after the touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Taylor. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. And a loss of three to bring up four. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. They go for it on fourth down, and it pays off big time as they pick up 29. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A gain of three, second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And they'll come up second and seven. They run once more with Taylor. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. In motion left goes a tight end. They give to Taylor out of the gun. There he goes left side. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. From the gun, it's Taylor. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. 
That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Now a give to Taylor. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Eluding the pressure right. Decent gain on the scramble at six, but now it's fourth. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And Gay knocks this one through. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. And Dallas Flowers going to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Flush to his right. And yeah, that is incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juju Brents. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner, and with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You called that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. So from the 37, here's second down and three. They go to the ground again with Taylor. 
And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. Now they'll change things around before the snap. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Taylor is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the Chiefs' three-yard line. Here's Minshew. Got a man, it's Pittman, and he hands it in for the Colts' touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Colts have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Shane Steichen, aggressive as a play caller. He's going to go for two here. Taylor try and run, and he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And so they run it in on the two-point try, and it's so often, Charles, we talk about from the offense's perspective what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make a quick decision and make it right now. There the offense wins the battle for two. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone go, go. goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Third quarter here at Indy. This is second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards. A 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Julian Blackman. Partner's bad enough. 